name is Jess and welcome to my channel. Okay guys, so before to start today's video, I want to apologize for not posting video on Tuesday, but um, I live in Florida and as you may know, Hurricane Dorian was expected um, to pass very close to Florida and I was trying to be prepared for just in case anything happened. Um, I am recording this video before the hurricane and if you are watching this video, that means that I have internet and my family and me are okay and safe. So I just want to let you know that. And I want to ask with all my heart for those people who unfortunately face this phenomenon and lost everything. The people who live in the Bahamas and all those peoples and places that were affected. I am from Puerto Rico and family and friends were affected by Hurricane Maria a few years ago and I know how hard for them was to recover and I just hope that these people can do it too and with our support and our prayers. Okay, so for today's video, I have two super budget friendly DIYs. These are in a farmhouse style and I really hope that you like it. If you do, you can give me a big thumbs up because that really helps to support my channel. And if you are new here and you like DIYs, home decor, trash to treasure, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you hit the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know in the comments which project was your favorite and let's get started to this DIY. Hola mis amores, bienvenidos a mi canal nuevamente. Antes de comenzar el video de hoy, um, quiero pedirles disculpas porque el martes no coloqué un video en mi canal, pero era realmente, si no lo saben, aquí en la Florida está pasando un huracán, cuando ustedes vean este video ya el huracán lo más seguro haya pasado pero quise tomarme ese tiempo para poder prepararme yo, tanto yo como mi familia y si están viendo este video porque ya tuve internet y, y estamos a salvo pero quería pedirles de favor que oremos por esa familia y esas personas que lo han perdido todo tanto en las Bahamas como en muchos lugares yo soy de Puerto Rico y no pasé por el huracán María pero muchísimas familias y amigos sí y sé lo difícil que fue para ellos poder sobreponerse ante esta situación y solamente espero que esas personas que están pasando por esta, por esta situación ahora mismo pues logren recuperarse con nuestro apoyo y con nuestras oraciones también así que pues nada para el vídeo de hoy voy a estar haciendo dos DIY que son sumamente económicos cada uno de hacer y van a ser al estilo farmhouse espero de corazón que te guste muchísimo y si es así me pueden dar un bonito like porque realmente me ayudan demasiado a que mi canal siga creciendo y además si eres nuevo por aquí te gustan los DIYs las decoraciones de hogar y los trash to treasure asegúrate de que estás suscrito a mi canal y que actives esa campanita de notificaciones para que tu teléfono te notifique cada vez que yo suba un nuevo video. Déjame aquí en los comentarios cuál fue tu proyecto favorito en el día de hoy y si quieres ver cómo lo hice, solo quédate viendo. Ok guys, to start our first project, I will be using this lantern that you can get at Dollar Tree. I really like the shape and the side it has, but I want to change the color and be able to make my own style. And the first thing I have to do is disarm it, um, separate the top part and that white plastic as well as the light. From there I will use my Reveille Shulk paint in hazelnut color to paint my lantern or you could use any other color and I'm going to be focusing on painting only the parts where I know they will be exposed. The truth is that it doesn't overwhelm me, that it's not all painted, and it saves me time, but it's up to you. And I give it two coats of paint and let it dry. From there, I will use my burnt umber acrylic paint and this sponge because I want to create a weather look um, for my lantern. This technique is very, very simple and I love to create it using these colors. And it's basically just put a little paint on the sponge and create spots on the surface that you are painting as I am doing right now. You can create many or a few spots that depends on how you like it. Mm -hmm. 
and I will be doing the same with the top of the lantern and let it dry. And then we can assemble the whole lantern as it went. From there, I found this Halloween decor piece which has a super nice base and I found it perfect to be able to add to this project. What I'm going to be doing is to separate the skull and I will cut this piece of plastic that stands out. I don't know why but this part had no cover so I had to cover the battery with a piece of popsicle stick and hot glue. And then I could stick the base to the light um, with hot glue but if you want it to be stronger you can use E6002. And this will be the result of my first project and I love the colors and the base that I use. It is a project that creates a very beautiful impact to any decoration you have. And I add some greenery to the base and I just love it. For our second project, you are going to need a can, just in case, mine is from beans and you are also going to need popsicle sticks. You can use the large ones from Dollar Tree or these giants that are from Walmart. Unfortunately, I lost one of my clips, but basically what I did was measure and cut the popsicle sticks the length of the can. And once you have them all cut, I began to stick them using my hot glue gun. You need to try to keep the most possible right cuts and when you are hiding the others, make sure they are pretty close together so that the can is not seen and looks better. You must do the same process to cover the entire can. From there, I will paint in using my Rivoli wax in antique color and a sponge again. In the description box of the video, I leave the link where you can get this type of sponges. And I'm going to apply just a little paint, but by sections. I want it to look like burnt wood, so this is the technique that I use with this type of sponges and blur to make it look more real. And this is what this painting technique will look like. I, I, I really like it. I love it. Now I will be using this 7 inches Walmart wooden circle plaque that cost me less than $1. And I'm going to be removing the staple and the sticker. To paint it, I will be using the same technique we did with the popsicle sticks. Like I said, just apply wax in sections and blur the rest of the wax on the wood so that it looks like burn and you must paint in only one direction to make it look better. If you put too much paint on it and do it with a brush, it may look different. Um, with a brush, it will seem that you only painted and darkened the wood, which still looks great, but I want to do something a little different this time. And you must have a total of two circle plaques for your wooden reel. The next step will be to glue the can to the wood in the same center 
I use hot glue but you can also use wood glue it will also be another very good option and you will paste it in the same center of both wooden circle plaques and that will be all for our project a long time ago I want to do a wooden reel and I am very happy with the result it looks super farmhouse and it's very strong to place any kind of decoration I think that decorating with details like greenery and a bit of moss make it look great and I just love it just in case you wonder I made the fan that you see here using Dollar Tree materials and in the description of this video I leave the link if you are interested definitely the wooden reel was my favorite project this time but let me know in the comments which one is yours and leave me a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you are not and share this video with friends and family see you in my next video i love you so much guys and have a beautiful day bye